this is two West Coast. You in my phone, and if you got a problem with that, then they need to go bang, 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 and I'll be everywhere on the map. But I rep that whiz, 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 it's uh, sturdy, it gets those BBs off, and it looks the part if you paint it well. These cameras here, well it's just one camera really, it's the uh, Chili Action Cam 3. Uh, it's the one we're currently using on our footage, so you will be the judge of how good it is. Here we've got the, um, it's, a it's an adaptable charger from Amazon. Uh, it's, it's good fighting, it's a uh, good find for me. It keeps the uh, back, uh, the camera alive and uh, keeps it charged up well. And here it's just a basic USB cable. And while I'm here now, you can see the paint job, which is custom on the helmet. And on top, you can see the little bits of soil that we sprinkled on just to create a uh, effect. Right, okay. These are Viper Tactical Ski Goggles. They uh, they're they're good. They protect you well, keep you warm. Uh, only problem is they do steam up from time to time. So, if you want to wear these, do consider getting a spare pair of uh, eye protection. Right, so, underneath these, you can fit a suitable pair of glasses. As you can see, I am wearing now. They are good, they, uh, they don't protect you from sunlight or anything like the ski goggles do. But they're good, they are breathable, very breathable. Uh, they do their job, get the BBs off, they are very hardened glass. And uh, uh, they've got a little strap at the back here just in case you take a knock or something. This is just a, uh, it's not any special design, it's just a neck gaiter, which I prefer wearing to a balaclava or anything like that. Uh, it's uh, very breathable, you can just take it off whenever you want. Uh, you can take off as you're wearing your goggles and helmet. It's very, it's very good, it's, uh, like I said, breathable, which is the most important thing. Right, okay, as you can see now, we're moving away from the head and down the body. Right, so on my chest I am wearing a Viper belt. It's not a vest, it's a Viper belt. As you can tell, it's Viper from here, this logo. And it is molly, so you can loop any pouches you want on, bearing in mind that they are small enough to fit on. So here we have a standard pouch. Uh, I use it for grenades, uh, written on my grenades. Uh, but the beauty, beauty about it is you can fit other stuff on, like. Uh, I've got a dead sock and I've got a pen in there just in case I need a pen. On this side, identical pouch, same as the last one. Uh, in here I've got all my grenades and stuff. Uh, I'll show you again. And uh, yeah, I've written stuff on it here. So, uh, And also, I have a secret weapon of ours. It's uh, the ADU, the Aerial Distraction Unit. You can buy them from any party shop. It's kind of surprising for Airsoft. But basically you blow them up and let them go. Here, hard to see, but we have a radio pouch. If you uh, look in, here, it's just a little tiny radio, it's a Dorio company. Reliable, 10 kilometers. Uh, not the best sound for it, but it gets the job done. Uh, takes three, uh, triple A batteries, three of them, so. Uh, it's easy to replace the batteries as well. It's a good radio pouch. Uh, it's got a clip and Velcro, so you can just take it off. Right. And at the back here, you can see we have a big, bulky, it should be a water canteen pouch, but I use it for ammo as well, because I'm a support guy and I need lots of it. If you look inside there, you can see water, you can see um, BBs, thanks for that. And yeah, it, it can fit quite a lot in there, so that's the that's my chest rig. Last thing, making it into a uh, chest rig rather than a um, just a belt. Got a harness on. It's a, uh, it's, a, it's a decent harness, I think it's it's Viper again, isn't it? Yep, it's Viper. Uh, and as you can see here, I have got bungees holding it together. This it just keeps the pouch st uh, sturdy and the rest of the belt sturdy. And just to make sure this belt stays on and the pouch stays to me, got another bungee at the front here. Okay, uh, staying in the chest region, we have this uh, 95 jacket woodland camo. 
a British Army issue back in the day. Um, yeah, you can see there's a name tag on it. Not my name, obviously, because I don't kill boy. But um, yeah, you can find these. Uh, they're actually quite hard to find. They're at surplus shops mainly. Uh, there's a few websites that still sell them, but if you see one, try and get it. Then again, we have the uh, Viper brand again on their fingerless tip gloves. Uh, been through the wash a couple of times, they don't look too bad. Get the job done, they're very flexible. Uh, yeah, they're very good for uh, shooting the weapon and uh, filling in your pouches as well. Now, go on to the trousers area. Uh, start with the knee pads. These are Webtex knee pads. Uh, they're, they're actually a lifesaver for me, uh, especially when you're crouching. They're very comfortable. Uh, they give you room, uh, room for your leg to move. Uh, just a standard issue uh, British Army belt. Uh, these are grafter boots, uh, all leather, very easy to polish, very easy to clean and maintain, uh, very comfortable, good for assaulting and they also look good on you. Okay, it's uh, this is a generally an overall good loadout for a support guy like myself with my big M60. Uh, just uh, one little last thing, uh, you can always add little snippets onto it. And if you do, and you feel like you have to tell us, please uh, contact us on YouTube or Facebook. Just little, little handy tips that uh, will help us progress. So, thank you very much. It's been Delta 1 for Delta 4, and signing out. See you. Camel is, is, is good quality, but it's uh, not as the best footage you can get. It's 720 FPS, uh, FPS, what the hell am I on about? It is, it is, mm. isn't it? Yeah. What's nah. the FPS down for? On this side, I have the same pouch, more, more grenade. I push rhymes like way, I push rhymes like way.